so much you thought I was a DJ. Yo, what is going on guys? Mega Mattel here and we're back with another video, man. And today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get Hall of Fame badges in under 10 minutes. This shit is fucking wild, bro. That's all I can say. This shit is wild. So let's just hop straight into it. I'm gonna show you guys my badges on this character. I got I got nothing, right? I just wanna show you how this shit works. I got no badges on this character at all. Zero, you know, nothing. So first step you guys wanna do, you guys wanna go to your options. You guys wanna go to settings. And you wanna put this on Hall of Fame if you have an upgraded character, right? If you have a character that's like an 80 overall, 85 overall, and you wanna make sure it's on 12 minutes, then do it like that. But if you're a lower overall, I made this video because this is for lower overall people, and I use it on my higher overall character as well for badges that I do need. So because I am on a 60 overall, I'm going to go use this on Pro just so I have a chance of scoring and I will still be able to get my badges and get them Hall of Fame. And yeah, it's just easier to get them Hall of Fame on when you're playing on Hall of Fame, but you can get them just as easy on Hall of Fame when you're playing on Pro. So basically, yeah, I'm a 60 overall. I'm going to play on some Pro, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here and play on Hall of Fame while I'm a 60 overall and try to get the, the same amount of points. It's not going to happen. So next step after that, all you want to do is just start up a game. It doesn't matter what team you're facing. And you know, it'd be better if you're facing a shitty team, but ultimately it does not really matter what type of team you are facing. As long as you're going to be able to get the best possible game you can get against them, that's all you really need to do, right? All you need to do is just score, get your badges, and just try to activate all the badges you can, right? That's that's the whole goal of this, unless you're just trying to get one badge Hall of Fame really, really, really fast. But in this case, for me, when I'm playing, I'm trying to get all, all of my badges Hall of Fame extremely fast, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to just go for one badge and get it done within one game. And I'll explain that later. It sounds crazy that you can do this with one game. I know, it sounds wild. So when you get into the game, all you want to do is just try to have your best game, right? Just hit all your badges, all the badges you can hit, you know, that you have available or the ones you just, you know, you want Hall of Fame or just badges you want to get gold or, you know, even silver doesn't matter, right? So basically at this point, you can see in the gameplay, I'm just speeding this shit up all the way as fast as I possibly can just because I don't want you guys to watch me just sit here and score and all this boring shit. And so, yeah, just bet, have the best game you can possibly have. And the goal of this whole entire glitch is to try to be able to get to the end of the game in the fourth quarter with 30 seconds left, preferably, or down by 25 or up by 25 by the fourth quarter or third quarter. But it, you don't know, it doesn't have to always be like that because I'm on a 60 overall. I waited till the third quarter and I was down by 25, which I purposely started playing like shit so I can make my team down by 25 because I was scared I was going to get subbed out in the end, and you do not want to get subbed out in the fourth quarter. That is one thing you do not want to happen. Trust me, you do not want to get subbed out in the fourth quarter because that will ruin the glitch completely. So basically, I'm just sitting here, and I, I just I started playing and started playing. You know, I was just doing my shit, and I just waited till the third quarter, and we were down by 25. So that that makes you know you're able to sub out with VC. That's the whole goal of this: is you want to be able to sub out with VC. That's that's what you want to be able to do at the end of at the end of this whole match, right? And you're only gonna have to play one remember this you're only gonna have to play one match and you just want to do the best you possibly can in this match and you can obviously do other matches you know what i mean after you're done you know doing the glitch like five or ten times you know if, you, if you're not satisfied with how much you're getting doubling over and over and over i'll explain that more it sounds super fucking nuts i know but yeah i'm gonna let you guys listen to a little instrumental real quick and i'll be back with you guys in a second
cock that motherfucker back, kid. All right, so we're back at the end of the game. And basically at this point, this is when I realized that I was down by 25 and I was like, okay, you know what? I got 27 points. I'm going to go with this. I'm 12 for 19. This is what I'm going to go with. I know I'm going to have enough for, you know, at least a few badges. And you guys are going to notice I'm not getting a lot of points, but you guys are going to be getting crazy amounts of points on your different characters that are a little bit of a higher overall. I mean, I'm a 60 overall and you're going to see how much shit I'm actually getting overall. The shit is wild. I, I don't know why 2K hasn't patched this yet. They made little baby patches to it, but it's not patched. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not fully patched. So basically, now what you want to do is you want to press start and make sure you have the option to sim, sim, sim the game with VC, right? That's what you want. That's what you want the option to be. And then at this point, all you want to do is just save and quit your current game that you're in. That's what you want to do. Now, when you save and quit your current game, that's it. That's the first step to this, and this is a very crucial step. So make sure you save and quit and you have that game saved. Now, you want to press start and just quit the app completely, right? Just quit the app straight up, and then after that, just load the app straight back up. And that, this is a really, really, you know, crucial step. So make sure you guys get this part down. It's really simple too, you know, you save the game. And that's, and, and make sure when you save, you're able to, you know, quit out with VC. That's the whole goal of this, right? So now the game is loaded back up and everything like that. And all you want to do is just load right back into that same game that you were just in. That's basically what you do is super simple. This glitch is insanely simple and it is so worth doing. Now, when you get back into the same game, you're going to have the same option to sim out with the, with VC, and that is the whole goal of this, and it's going to work amazing. So now we're back into the game, right? And you want to go up to the quit, and you want to ask to sim out with VC. Now, when you ask to sim out VC, you press yes, right? Now, this is the first step of the glitch, right? This is, you know, watch all this and listen carefully, right? And make sure you pay attention to my badges. Pay attention to how much I got per badge right so obviously i got beat you know it doesn't really matter it does not matter if you win or lose it it literally doesn't it doesn't affect the glitch at all and yeah i didn't have that great of a game but you'll see how much i'm actually getting for my badges with having a shitty game it's just wild so right here it's going to show me what i got for my badges and uh I, I think i got like posterizer up and under you know hustle rebounder some some shit you know i'm not a center so i don't really know but i made this center because i wanted to do this on the center so yeah, I got up and under and look, just look at the numbers, right? Remember these numbers, 440 is what I got for my up and under, right? And then 360, 666, that's a little odd, right? And then 700 and then just look at the numbers and make sure you guys remember those numbers because I know I'm going to remember because I recorded this shit, right? So Hustle Rebounder, I got that shit up to 900, right? And this is all, you know, with the with this game, right? And then now this is where the crucial part begins, right? You have your badges as it's loading everything's ready right when you see your last badge load or you see the last badge you're getting loads up aka my free throw ace is the one that's the last one and then now you want to hit the center button you guys will see i hit the center button you want to click start on your nba 2k and you want to go and you just want to hover over manage games and add-ons okay you just want to hover over it sit here and the second you guys see vc pop up on the right it's going to be a little bit dimmed down but the second you guys see vc pop up you want to go to add-ons and you want to delete from console you want to go to save data and delete from console not delete from everywhere because it will delete it from everywhere you know what i'm saying so you do not want to lose your character and then right after that you want to start the game right the fuck back up instantly you just want to start right you just want to start that shit right up instantly right after that and that's you, know, you gotta make sure you do it the second you see it says vc like when right when you see the number you see that little vc shit boom you know manage you know you hit that game manage games and add-ons and then boom go to save data and then delete from console i'm trying to make this mo the most in-depth i possibly can man i'm sorry if i'm bad at explaining i just you know i'm really 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 tired right now but i hope you guys understand that when you get back on the game it's going to say syncing data with 2k19 and you just want to start right you want to get right back into the game right that's exactly what you want to do it's very simple you just load the game right back up and then now what i want you guys to do i want you guys to pay attention to my badges right look at my badges and what they're looking like now after we've already just done that i don't even know how this is even a glitch in the game to be honest i don't know how they haven't fixed it it's been out for like months now and that's why you see so many guys that are so low overall so now basically what you want to do is the same exact thing sim out with vc but it's a little different right here now now it's got a little bit of a twist to it right you know this glitch is around so you guys probably remember the other of the other method of doing it so now look at my badges right boom 440 and now 
it's at 880 so they just keep doubling is what you're seeing here they just keep doubling over and over and over and over they just keep doubling themselves that's the point of this glitch is that it's going to keep doubling my posterizer were my posterizer was at 700 from that first game and now it's at 1400 and they just it just keeps going up it just keeps going up over and over but now you guys do not want to do that manage game and add-ons delete you know save data shit you don't want to do that right now you're gonna wait and you're gonna let this load out completely right what you're seeing now my badges are doubling themselves and I'm, i haven't even played another game i've just played that one game and this is doubling itself over and over so now at this point and also to be honest this is also a vc glitch too i don't know if you see my vc but i'm getting vc every single time i do this i'm getting 800 or 900 i forget how much i'm getting i think i'm gonna get like 900 and some right and it's just you know the vc just keeps adding up so let's say you did this 10 times you know 10 times you got a thousand vc per game you have 10,000 vc shit's pretty crazy but this time you want to let it load completely all the way through right that's the whole goal this the second part this is the second step of the of the glitch and then you want to go straight to the neighborhood that's the first thing you want to do you don't want to look at your endorsements nothing don't look at your badges nothing just go straight to the neighborhood that's the next step after you get to the neighborhood you want to run your ass straight to the uh, gatorade training facility and when you get into the training facility just hop on that uh medicine ball shit do not do the treadmill that is not what you want to do you want to go to the medicine ball and man you guys are gonna sit here and watch me fail that's why i'm speeding this shit up because this shit was a failure man i do not know how you even do this like i don't know how you do this fucking this medicine ball this shit makes no sense to me i tried to get it you know i didn't understand it but now here comes another crucial part right so right after you finish the medicine ball glitch i mean not the medicine ball but this is where the glitch comes in you're gonna sit here hover over manage games and add-ons and the second you see the points pop up for the for you earning points for doing the medicine ball you want to do the same exact thing manage games and add-ons then boom delete from console not delete from everywhere and start the game right the fuck back up that's exactly what you want to do so and then at this point it's a rinse and repeat process guys you guys you just sit here and you just do the same exact thing over and over so every other game you're doing the medicine ball the you know the first game you're doing the the save data you know at the end right when the vc pops up and it's just a rinse and repeat option you know what i mean and you, and you just sit here and you just keep getting your badges all the way up and all the way up and all the way up or you get your vc up too while you're doing it, it matters what you're really in it for right but as you see here i'll sim out with vc VC. and this is my last time doing it i didn't need to do it anymore because i don't really care too much about this character but i just want to show you that you can do it over and over and over but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna end this with uh, the save data shit i'm just gonna let it load again and you guys will see look at it you know 880 goes up to you know 1320 right so it just basically just keeps doubling for what you have earned in that game that's why i'm saying if you have a higher overall guy let's say you have an 85 86 you know whatever and you want to make him maxed out like you just want to max him out just do one insane game where you're just going you know crazy in the game right you drop like you know 90 points 70 points 60 points and then you just sit here and you keep you keep giving yourself the rewards you know over and over and over for what you did in that game this shit's crazy how fast you can get a hall of fame badge shit is honestly wild and then after this loads completely i'm going to show you guys that the ba the badges save like they save completely it's not like i'm not you know not bullshitting you guys or anything like that look at my vc it just keeps going up you know every damn time but only one you know bad part is that the my cap points you know doesn't you know the the my points cap doesn't go up every time and your fans don't go up every time which is unfortunate but you know it is what it is and it doesn't not really matter because you are getting badges you know that's why this is a hall of fame badge glitch not a fucking level up glitch right so basically after that i just loaded this part real quick and i'm going to show you guys here right here that my badges saved i have my shit i played one game and i got my post riser all the way to 2100 and i got my hustle rebounder to almost like you know i almost got the damn badge the shit is wild and that, that's basically the video i have for you guys today i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys tried this shit out and yeah tell your friends tell everybody make sure you guys drop a like on the video and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video hope you guys enjoyed peace